Welcome to the Dr. Aaron Show. May you live your truth. Good morning. This is Dr. Aaron teaching universal law and spiritual truth. I am here with you 11 minutes a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And on that note, I'm going to have to tell another story about this last weekend. So because I went back to my childhood where I grew up in the mountains of Santa Barbara and kind of like a pseudo hippie commune. Anyway, the, the neighborhoods has gotten quite cleaned up since I was a little girl. But it was a real paradoxical childhood because here we lived kind of in almost like a hippie commune. There's literally like some of the homes were almost like shacks. We just ran around as children barefoot. And uh, it was a leftover the 60s. A lot of the parents did a lot of drugs and drinking. And it was just kind of a sign of the times. But what was really interesting was it was right next to Jane Fonda's ranch. So you had kind of these hippie miscellaneous people over on one side. And then on the other side, you had Jane Fonda who had thing, people like Michael Jackson coming through to stay for the weekend. You had all kinds of celebrities coming through there. And Joe Cocker, the famous singer, uh, actually lived on Jane Fonda's ranch. He rented this beautiful home up on a hill up there. Amazing, such a sweetheart of a man. But as most people know, it's no secret that that Joe Cocker had an alcohol and drug kind of problem. And um, my my mom was very, very good friends with him. He would literally come hang out in our living room all the time. And uh, it was so needless to say, it was a quite a chaotic uh, childhood, probably movie worthy, really, when I think about how, how just amazing it really was. But the point is this, is that when I was driving up the hill to go uh, see my girlfriends, if you listened to yesterday's podcast, I was up there because two of my girlfriends were deciding if they were going to let go of their family home or not. And so it's a tradition when I go up this mountain, I turn on a few songs that remind me of those times. I usually um, turn on Landslide, uh, that famous song, but I just, Joe Cocker just was like ringing through my heart. So I turned on that very famous song, Up Where We Belong. It was a song that was actually, uh, he won a Grammy for. It was in the movie Officer and a Gentleman with Richard Gere. It was a beautiful song. It says, God lift us up where we belong. And it was actually around, I think I was like nine or 10 when that song came out. And I remember having him sing it, you know, to me, you know, with the band, they were always practicing and doing stuff. And then I heard it and saw him on the Grammys. And it was like, it was a reality, like, oh, this person that I don't think any differently than any other person is famous, you know, and I was like, whoa, I didn't, it was kind of like my first reality check, even being around Jane Fonda and a bunch of people. I just as a little girl, I didn't think of anyone different. In fact, I still don't. I think everyone is just another person and they're either up to amazing things or, you know, doesn't mean because you're a celebrity, you're up to great things, right? Each one's different. I think of each person as just a person. But as I'm driving up the hill and I'm listening to this gorgeous song and I'm thinking, well, would God really want me up on this hill where there was chaos and parents doing drugs and, you know, kind of, it was, it was, it was different. And I thought, yeah, that's exactly where God, my higher self, would want me because it was a relative learning experience. And I know that all of life is designed for our awakening. So yeah, guess what? God wants you exactly where you are. God wants you exactly where you are because that's exactly where you need to be to awaken, to have a relative experience of heaven and hell, to understand and I sat there and witnessed adults and I witnessed how they use their energy. Some of them used it for miraculous things. Others used it for not so miraculous things. And so I'm so thankful for that childhood. I'm so thankful for the the chaos of it. I'm so thankful to see the relative aspect of having money and not having money and, and all the above. And so as I drove up that mountain, I just had tears of joy streaming down my face. And I just thought, yeah, you know, what a blessing, what a blessing to be up there barefoot running around those hills with these beautiful, beautiful oak trees and mother nature to teach me. And then 
you know, parents and people and all the all the art and all the creation and and all the just amazing classroom. And I just said, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, who my higher self, spirit, that true self that I am. And it was a beautiful time up there. And realize that, you know, that chapter is done. We get to just go back, like flipping through an old book and go, oh yeah, we get to read that chapter. But that classroom's done. It's complete. It graduated. And so I know that it's all here for our awakening. Every last drop is here for your awakening. So today's universal law is the law of spirituality. It's all spiritual, you guys. And as we align to read the reality that it's all coming from spirit, every last drop of it, life gets easier. So this law states that spirit is derived from the word seed. So spirituality is the reality that all of life is created from one creative seed. Spirit, your higher self, all truth, all creation, all experience begins with consciousness. There is an almighty, omnipotent presence within you now. There is an aspect of you that is indestructible, absolute, and self-existing cause. The universe is revealing through the law of spirit that you can never be the effect of any circumstance. Your destiny is to experience your full divinity. And so all of life, that childhood up on that hill, was here for one thing and one thing only. For me to awaken and experience my full divinity. To know that I'm never the effect of that. I'm never the effect of a chi- your childhood, whether it be good, bad, chaotic, not, whatever. You're not the effect. You always, always have will. Always. So today's practice, because we have daily spiritual practices, is to go with into gratitude. Go into gratitude and begin to give thanks for all the good and the bad times, revealing the blessings and lessons. Go into gratitude. I drove up that hill and all I did, it was like gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. And I find anytime I'm wanting to do prayer, anytime I'm down, anytime all I do is start with gratitude. It's amazing what will shift. Incredible what epiphanies you'll have. Any bad situation you ever had, if you close your eyes and begin to give it gratitude for lessons, the lessons and the blessings, you reveal, you reveal exactly why you were there, exactly what you needed to experience to awaken to the greatest version of yourself. And so today's challenge, because every day we have a challenge, is to write down your desires and dreams that you're struggling with. Write down your desires and dreams that you're struggling with and put them in your God box. We call it a God box because oftentimes we will try and control things and struggle and want to have our answers and get clarity and all those things that we want. You know, going up, um, I talked about yesterday on the podcast, but I went up to hold space for two of my girlfriends. They were deciding truly to let go of their family home or not, sell it or keep it. And um, and it's like, you know, sometimes we don't know the right answer right right away, even though inside, deep inside, we have divine right action. And so it was like, almost like we put it in a God box. We just said, you know what? Let's just go up there for a couple of days. Let's go up and hold space and just see what happens. And it was like we had put it in a God box. So put anything you're, you're struggling with today in a God box, which means your subconscious is linked in with all the entire universe. And it knows exactly what to do. There's something in you that knows what's right for you. So as you put it in that God box, your psyche, that part of you that is connected to everything will align to what you've already said you want at a soul level. So I know today is the opportunity the opportunity to truly realize that God is lifting you up exactly where you belong. It may look dark sometimes. It may not feel like you're up high. But guess what? God is always lifting you up where you belong. Your higher self always knows exactly where you are. I'm not talking about a man in the sky. I'm talking about that God essence, your true self, that part of you. And I know today is a day to align realizing that it's all spiritual. The reality is that your spirit. You're not your own identity. You're, when you leave this life, you're not going to be able to take this particular identity with you. Your spirit. 
That's the truth. That's the spiritual axiom. And so on that note, if you've benefit from this talk, please like, share, and comment. Please private message me. Uh, let me know your questions. Let me know what you're struggling with or what somebody in your life is struggling with, whether it be about relationships, health, money, creative expression. We deal with all of it. Spiritual truth relates to all of it. If you have a question about prosperity, prosperity is one of our number one thing we teach as uh, the New Thought Movement. So on that note, you can find me at Aaron Fall Haskell. You can find me across all social media as Dr. Aaron. And I do have a private group on Facebook called Awakening with Aaron. Uh, you can also get my free app at um, draaron.tv. Get all of uh, my interviews on my show, The Dr. Aaron Show, and all the above. We are um, moving on to Twitter and some different formats to Bring spiritual truth to the world on all levels, you guys. Have a divine day. Know that this is the best day ever because the reality is there's only one reason you're here. It's to awaken and use your consciousness upon universal law. Have a divine day.